hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is courtney if you are new here hey y'all so in today's video we're going to be doing a asos haul and it's mostly dresses accessories a few shoes it was a very sporadic and spur of the moment <laughs> decision to even go on there but they had 25 percent off so if you're interested in seeing what I got, please stay tuned. So this is the first thing that I got is this sporty shirt by LC. I'm not even sure how you pronounce this. I've never really heard of this brand, but I always see it on ASOS. And I just thought it was really cute. I do like the metallic lining right here. I really like this shirt. It's really form fitting. I could have gotten a size 14, but I decided to get a 16 just because I didn't know how it was gonna fit. I don't know how this brand runs. Really comfortable. It's not like the workout material. It's completely cotton and it has like a little I don't know what that is. Looks like an orange slice or something. Okay, so here is the next item. It says, it's cool to be kind. It's just a basic cotton white t-shirt. I thought this would be a really cute with like a pair of jeans or some joggers. You could dress this up or down. I love the slogan. You can never have too many white t-shirts, especially in the spring when you don't feel like doing too much. The text is in like a navy blue color on white, so I just think that's like really cute. Okay, so next up is like a t-shirt dress. So it's this long t-shirt dress and it has like this little sun in the middle. Now I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, where are you going with a big old sun on your chest? But listen to me, this is not necessarily for me like going out, out and trying to look cute. This is more so just to like lounge around in the house. I like to be comfortable when I'm lounging. I'm sorry, I have a baby, like, you know. And I still may wear this with biker shorts or some tights if I need to go to the grocery store. Cause girl, who really dressing up for the grocery store? Cause I know I'm not. So now we have something a little bit more glamorous and not so chill and dressed down. I got this like ruched sheer dress hot pink very much so out of my comfort zone it's really slinky it does have a lot of ruching on the sides which is perfect for hiding the gut um or your fupa or belly or whatever you want to call it and then it also has like some ruching in the bag which i think is really cute and i also feel like this would just be extremely nice for valentine's day if you are doing something or going somewhere with your man um i think this would be really cute so this next item i'm not sure what i was thinking or why i even got this but i had a vision in my mind because i saw it on model but whew. okay so i got this dress but look how big this dress is this dress is gigantic and it did not look like this on the model so i'm definitely gonna be giving this away but i love the um caramel color i love a mock and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be super cute with like some cowboy boots, but baby, it's too big. And I got this in a size 14. I really could have gotten a 10 or, yeah, I could have gotten away with a size 10 because this right here is just not it. This is like a moo moo. Okay, so I have a, yet <laughs> another lounge dress, a mommy dress, a go to the doctor's appointment with my baby dress. So it's this like pink mauve color, kind of like a baby doll dress. And it does have like some rubber on the wrist where it can kind of like clench the wrist. I do like the crisscross chest part of this dress and I just thought the color was really pretty. I knew this dress was going to be extremely big because I could tell by how it fit on the model so I made sure to size down two sizes. So I got this in a size 8 and it was telling me in the recommended that I should get a size 12 but I didn't want it to look like that other dress like a freaking moo moo. So yeah I got it in a size eight. So I got this 
kind of midi dress, almost maxi. Just from like seeing what the new trend is gonna be, it's definitely like this like weird plaid print. So I got this dress. It's maxi, it is very see-through, I will say that. You would definitely have to wear a slip under it, but I just thought this was really cute and pretty for spring to just throw on and go to like dinner or something. And I love the combination. Pink always looks amazing with burgundy. So I definitely was drawn to the abstract print and the colorway. And it does have adjustable straps so I can adjust it to how high or how low I want the dress to go. And I'm not sure if this would be a midi on me or a maxi on me because I am only 5'1", but I feel like it pretty much kind of be like a hybrid of a midi and a maxi. So this is actually our last dress in this haul. Hopefully you guys like it. All this stuff was so dirt cheap, it's not even funny. Like this stuff was cheap, cheap. And I took a risk. I got these boots. Let me get out the other boot. From the review, I had got these cowboy boots and I wanted to wear them with that asymmetric tan dress. And I thought that would be really cute. So bought these boots in a size six, these cowboy Western boots. But ASO sent them in a plastic bag with no box. And remember, this is final sale. So <clears throat> they told me that I can't return it because it's final sale. And I'm like, no, I need this in a different size. And it's scuffed. Like, can y'all see how scuffed that is? Like, she's scuffed scuffed. So they refunded me my money and of course I ordered a bigger size. I originally got these in a size six because I looked at the reviews and the reviews were like, you need to size down. So I sized down and got a six, but in actuality, I have really like wide feet and I definitely got the size seven. Size seven fits perfect. So I also got a pair of sandals by Public Desire. I'm sure everybody is tired of like, the clear heel, but girl, this shoe was like $12 or $10, I think after taxes and discount. So I could not pass it up. I don't have anything that's clear with like a narrow heel. Now I'm not gonna try these shoes on you guys. I'm sorry, I will leave a photo somewhere around here because my feet are not done. So I think the heel is maybe four inches, but perfect height for me because I am not a heel girl at all whatsoever by any means. And these are pretty comfortable to walk in. All right, so now on to purses. I got this kind of like woven basket looking purse. It's more so of a tote than a purse, but I thought this was so cute, right? And I could wear it with those heels that I just showed you. I think that would be a perfect combination because it's like new. And this is just gonna be so cute in the spring, like to wear brunch. I love this. It is a faux leather. It does not look cheap at all. Um, you can probably see the color a little bit more back here, but yeah, I love this purse. All right, so here is our second purse. It is this kind of Bottega Veneta inspired purse. I say that because of like the scrooching right here and the shape of the bottom of the purse. And I love the color. The color is a wine burgundy color. It is a fairly small purse, but I just thought this would be kind of cute, you know, with a very plain or monochromatic outfit just to give it a little pop of color it does have like gum metal hardware oh it's a little hard to zip up that's okay <laughs> i don't mind and it has like a little bow right here which i think is cute i think i can adjust yeah i can adjust how tight or how loose I want the bag to be. I almost feel like I could wear it like this or like that or kind of like on the shoulder. So, really nice 
cute bag. So I also got a pair of little dainty earrings that have a heart and a cross in the middle. And of course they're gold because you guys know if you've been on my channel before, I really only wear gold. Although I do have some silver studs in today, but you know, whatever. Okay, so this is the last thing on my ASOS haul. So I decided to get a eyeshadow palette by Revolution. I know you guys always see this in Ulta, but I can't find any of my eyeshadow palettes. I have no idea what happened to them. But I wanna get back into doing my eyeshadow and I definitely use this palette on my eyes today. Um, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not like the best at eyeshadow, but I do like playing in it and adding like a little pop of color to my eye. I think it always looks, you know, pretty. So I decided to get this. This is in the color Neutrals 2, and it seems like it's a lot of oranges, pinks, and purples, which is definitely up my color because as you can see, your girl looks purple. I will also highly recommend it. The formula is not chalky at all and this was only eight dollars so for the price i thought this would be extremely perfect it's very much so a buttery creamy feel to the eyeshadows i did forget to mention that i got some face masks because hello we are in a pandemic so this is the first one it was a three pack they are cotton and it has the adjustable ears on the back. So I got this print, which is a butterfly print. I have this brown print that has like, I thought it was an F, but I don't know what that is. Well, that would be funny because that would be kind of mocking the Fendi, but it just has like this little print to it. Nice neutral. And I also have some baby angels, which I'm not a fan of at all, but I was like for the price and one day I just need a face mask and I can't find one. I felt that this one would be very much so perfect. Alrighty, you guys. So that concludes today's video. That was everything that I had got from ASOS. I got some really good things in my opinion. Let me know which one was your favorite. And also please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye y'all.